RL Craft is quite the introduction to modded Minecraft. Call me crazy, but we've had a great time with it so far, even though it's only me left, which is why this is called The Rotten World, and that's why we're going to work through it. Basically, this 1.9.3 world was a group collaboration, but then everyone sort of left it alone, so I took it upon myself to get back in and try and beat RL Craft in spite of it. Let's start off by reacquainting ourselves with the ways of RL Craft. That includes death, a lot of death, and figuring out where we left off we barely got a chance to really explore it like we got in had a bit of fun we found i think we spawned right here somewhere and we just immediately got to it it's that um, missing potential level that really drew me back to it you know got goals i want to i want to get to the ender dragon in this even though it's a really really hard map i've always wanted to to do rl craft i mean it's a head scratcher it's, it's old it's got memories attached to it you know what i'm saying like who the heck slept here who decided sleeping on the the piston table was a good idea i mean that's that's beyond the point we got to get into it and you know continue making our way through exactly what we were doing now uh, you might have noticed some of the loot in there looked pretty darn good but might i remind you we'd only just started this world when we left i mean we were in a leather gear that was just from here and none of us could really use anything in here so we have a good starting point must have been really scared of the dark or something because look at all the torches around here we only just started really whenever we left we only moved into this little harbor hole which i think is actually this is spawn pretty sure spawn is somewhere right here and we started digging holes did a little bit of exploring did like trips out some of us were not combat inclined and you know just sort of got a feel for it some of us knew what we were doing some of us, need some of us needed a little hand holding um is that a monkey yeah so we've got all that like different levels different levels of figuring out rl craft because the the onboarding process for rl craft is if you've ever played it it's atrocious it's it's one that um is really a turn turning away point and it separates the sh the wheat from the shaft because uh it's weird and it's almost unnecessary just to make it a little bit harder to get going <laughs> and uh just like that our first death. I've got to remember that this is pretty dangerous. Whole entire game is going to be dangerous from here, but it's uh, it's doable. I used to have like a somewhat a veteran, someone who knew what they were doing. They played it for a really long time, and so he was sort of guiding some of us. Even though I, I knew a good amount, at least to get through the beginning, it was nice to have him around because he he knew sort of a fast track, a way to get through things very quickly. But for now, we can make do. Doing another quick scan of the chest. Maybe I just noticed the diamond in there, but yeah, there is a lot of good starter stuff, you know what I mean? Like, nothing we can use much right now, but it will become important later on, I assure you. Then, uh, eventually we get to the storing of stuff, because I know I'm gonna die eventually. Having some stuff back home is gonna be really nice. Almost immediately I noticed starting weaponry, and I remembered it being pretty good, so I got right into crafting it. Beyond that, we spent the night sleeping and going out and gathering sticks in the middle of the night like a weirdo. I don't know how I didn't notice that I didn't use the bed. I must have just been, like, really out of it. I didn't play Minecraft for a while before this, so, you know, had to sink in for a minute. Good thing is, all that hard work paid off with our first wooden shield and stone shield. Now, uh, it's, it's been a few months since I've been in here, but I sort of remember what was going on. Like, we were just getting started. Didn't even, I don't even think I ever checked the, the quest things whenever I was actually doing stuff. And now that I'm actually going through and getting in the swing of things, it's really helpful. Really helpful. And I'm pretty sure this was my little area right here. We had just just like thrown everything in little areas like this i mean this is nice right here man. little 
observatorium. The entire place is nice. That's why we just... It was a great spawn. You know what I'm saying? We, we stuck up here and was like... Some of us were too scared to go outside because we knew it was a difficult challenge outside. That looks valuable. But a little difficult. Um... What? Iron swords. We can't even use iron swords, but those, those will be handy later. Um... It's just such a nice, nice spot. And I remember a few of us just being, you just locked up around here. Like this one, I think that's C over there. And then probably T is on the table over here. I'm just gonna refer to them by the initial Probably T. And then L probably set up in one of the rooms that were already made. And that's just how we got started. The next order of business was of course iron, even though we couldn't use it yet. Now that I've come back, um I've already got iron the potential to get iron. So we can get iron, but now we can't even use iron. It's Sort of a double-edged sword in that way. At this point, I thought uh, the experience that you needed to put in was still the levels. So uh, I was a little confused when I couldn't use an iron pickaxe. Realizing we needed more levels, we started to prepare and think about how we're going to get those levels. Probably from adventuring out into the world. Chainmail only required four levels, so it was the easiest one to go for. So now, with a goal in mind, it was time to gear up for the long journey ahead. Time for a quick adventure. I think I know there's a tower or two out here. And I guess whatever that is, we can check that out. Ooh, that does not look good. Yeah, that's quite the range. Quite a lot of head damage right off the bat. Um, not the best start to an adventure. Then again, when are, when are we ever going to get a good start in our aircraft? Um, I was going to find the nymph. There's usually so many nymphs around here. Another reason why we made this our base. We've seen a golden nymph around here. A dark nymph. There's all kinds of nymphs. And there's... Is that a flying chicken? Yeah, okay. Uh, as long as the flying chicken stays over there, we'll be good. That isn't a cockatrice, is it? I wouldn't assume so. I mean... I think those are ground things, not lion things. Okay, I anyway. A little, little slight broken foot. Make our way back. We avoid the whatever dungeon that is, because right now I can't deal with can't deal with uh, all the Can't deal with all the, the dangers there. Hmm. This has been <laughs> this has been one heck of a trip, I tell you what. I feel sort of bad for the guy. He he walked two foot outside of his house, got hit by lightning, then nearly dehydrated and called it a day, man. That is a shame. At least he woke up with renewed confidence, a pep in his step, and, you know, things totally worked out for him, I'm sure. Back on out to it this time. Maybe avoid the lightning strike. Thing is, when there's two of them there, oh my god. Like, we really can't catch a break at all. Okay. Am I going out this way? There's a velociraptor. No, 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 no,
turn 360s on me. Okay. We got him. It's near death immediately. We should be able to skirt around that thing without drawing too much attention. Mm, more attention this way. Gosh darn it, it's somewhere around here. It's so weird that I can't even tell how I died there. It's, I think a bee came out of nowhere, despite everything else also coming out of nowhere. Gosh darn, that is a bit ridiculous. So yeah, the left side was a bit ridiculous. We we were getting swarmed over there, so I skidded around and made it to the place that I wanted to, through the right. Finally, the desert man, we made it. Okay, nope. Not dealing with that guy. How common is the special effects? Because I feel like we're getting lightning striked a lot. There we go. Oh god, they're coming out of the ground! Now then, these two towers right here are our main goals, uh, like once we found them, because I knew this was one of the main things to do in Horror Craft, and I knew there was plenty of experience to be gained in them. I think I gave up exploring for the day and started mining. Now then, this is my first piece of iron, but I uh, don't mind how awfully blind I am as I move right past all three pieces, even the one in the ceiling, and destroy my pickaxe for no reason. I don't even think I noticed that there was iron there until I turned around. Not here either, I'm talking when we turn around at the end of the cave there. Okay, seriously, what is going on with the lightning in Oriole Craft? Is this normal? Is this... Is this happening to anyone else? Or am I just like... Am I made out of copper or something? Like, what's going on here? Why? What? What is going on? Everything is lightning. Uh, legitimately, everything is lightning. I don't know what that was. That, that felt like... Just like a kamikaze out of nowhere. There we go. Our first good bit of iron. Should be a good amount. Bit of coal to cook it up with. About to it along. Alright, for most of the night we stayed in and just looked at our skills, trying to figure out what we need. And then we went out for a night stroll. Which I'm sure you can tell went very well. We went back and got our revenge before venturing out into the desert for levels. We quickly spotted a zombie dungeon, I think, in the desert and, uh, you know, started farming them as much as we could, but the experience farm things only go so much in this one and i didn't realize that at the time so you know we just wasted them basically overall these were the most manageable things i found to farm so it's better than nothing overall they left me with eight levels and a good bit of rotten flesh which we could turn into leather later on that's going to be really important and i pumped all these points directly into defense
after those desert shenanigans, we went back to the first place where we got struck by lightning in our jungle to check out the mine shaft that is right next door. Oh boy. I swear. The, the ambiance in this, it's always supreme. I mean, it really is good. I can hear either snoring or gargling in the background. It's ominous, reverberating off the walls, man. But uh, I bet there's something good down there. Even if I gotta deal with like a snoring man. I hear it over there somewhere. Ooh. Okay, okay. Oh, this is bad as well. Ooh, okay. So this thing is built into the Merrimack stuff. I'm not seeing much good down here either. I don't even know if we're in the uh We're not friendly, are we? Is that the big lady herself? I know you're a wanted man. Come on. I know there's a big one somewhere in there, like a queen or something, but uh, that makes that a an awful choice now. It's a shame that they sort of combined the, the mine shaft there with the mirror mix. Could have been a good stopping place for loot. Ooh, okay. Okay, I remember you. Not the worst. Not the best. At least they're not that deadly. I don't know what they do, but uh, yeah. Took no damage. We're just gonna hop over this. Does it make us drop our weapon? Because I feel like that happens every single time. Okay, and there's the Reaper. I feel like we've dealt with Reapers before. Even though we did did just take quite a bit of damage. I feel like they're not the most dangerous thing. There we go. So it takes just a bit of that confidence that you get while you play it. Confident is one thing, but uh, being ready to take on a battle tower? I don't think we're there yet, mate. But we definitely do give it a good old try. I was thinking he would mind his own bones just like I should have when I saw this. I'm surprised we even won that. Hey, we must be getting better. I mean, if we can take one of them, we can probably take a good bit of this nest down. Now, our forecast for fighting is still messed up from the floor up, mate. We ain't winning any of these. Eventually, we do come back and beat them, and then we sneak into the battle tower while no one is spawned and watching. What kind of place 
we continue this as long as we could, leveling up our attack this time, so that we can start using those iron swords and eventually dying in the process, but we are one step closer to having all iron gear. Sometimes this thing is just absolutely a little ridiculous. This is inevitable, basically. Because uh, I have no idea what just killed me. The... Maybe we bring a bed. How about that? Can we make bed rolls? A sleeping bag, that's what I meant. Okay, at least the armor is actually holding up. You know what I mean? It's actually holding up. Why did I just get the best big queen on my screen? There isn't one nearby. Let's just hope we get there. Everything is there. All the experience. And this time we don't wither away out of nowhere. I'm not even gonna acknowledge the monkey sounds. Even confusing they may be. But, uh... You're gonna slow us down. We got one goal. Let's improve right now. I'm not gonna win this. Okay, looks like the XP is actually kinda gone. Okay. We have a something. The something that I'm referring to is a blight. A mob worth like three times its XP. So, um, we're gonna be going to look out for those later, but I mean, I doubt I could kill it right now anyway. Okay. 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 There we go. Oh god. Okay. That's a lot. That's... This is an arachnophobe's worst nightmare. That's a lot. And also, we have a lot of skills. How about we just go next door? There we go, level 8. Should actually be good to use some newfangled weaponry. With iron weapons available to us, the only thing we need now is iron armor. And you know what we do with this newfangled power? Oh god. Okay, we've got problems. It's not the worst. Not the worst. We at least got our points in before we died. That's the goal. And then we go back out, do the same thing, but this time we do it in the goal of defense. I, I am losing it. There's fire particles everywhere. I think it's raining in the desert, maybe? That's what it is? Okay. Next door is a lot easier to deal with. Even though it's a lot more terrifying. It seems like, uh, the spawners have a set limit. They can... They can spawn. Dropping from the sky and everything, but that that's kind of good, kind of bad. Means we can't, like, stand around and actually farm them forever. But it does mean... We don't gotta deal with them forever, either. If we deal with enough of them, we can climb up without hassle <laughs> okay we gotta we gotta retreat a little bit now just to one point away one point away how much do we need is it eight that's fine good enough okay the damage is starting to catch up with us I prefer the spiders of the night. Being honest. They don't really do much. Salves. Do we have any salves? Healing salves, yes. What? We need magic too to heal? We may not have been very excited about it, but we did just figure out that magic yeah. is the way to healing, and that is another big goal on our list here. There we go. 
This one could be death. But we got it. We got it, dog. And that's attack and defense done. We are now... I'd say pretty strong. We don't feel strong yet. You know, we're still battling spiders out here to get any semblance of anything done. But, bezoars. I should bring one of these. High damage on long range. Requires loading before firing. Uses bolts, quick shots. After firing, will affect accuracy. Hold the aim for a pinpoint shot. That actually does not sound bad at all. I think with this fire protection, we can stand a chance against the blazes. Yeah, we're moving our way up, dog. I'm not gonna lie. Ready for full iron, eh? That was it. Long time ago. Hmm. Want in here to get out of the heat? Might as well pull the card in. Okay, here we go. Desert days get nice and hot. Anyways, if you've made it this far, I'd like to thank you for sticking around. This is my first Minecraft video, and uh, we're barely halfway through the footage that I have for the first half, and uh, so getting iron and iron gear was our uh, ending point for this one, but we've have already got a tame going, we've beaten our battle towers, we are way further ahead than that now. So, if you'd like to see more, I'd hope to see you there, and if you have any suggestions for what can be done about the editing of the video, or, you know, what you like, don't like, comment it down below and I'll be sure to take a read. Besides that, I'd like to credit some of these niche creators that uh, sort of gave me some inspiration along the way. I'll probably just put them in screen and post because uh, I don't remember the names exactly, but uh, this has been Rinse League, Rinse Rotten World. See you in the next one. Bye bye.